Tolichon too is peaceful again. At great cost. Yes, we both suffered losses. You suffered casualties to help Romulans. I will tell the Senate. You can also tell them they didn't die in vain. The Idril ruins are gone. Good. But are you sure the ruins were the work of the Idril? The archaeological record is quite clear. The Idril had a star-faring civilization long before the Romulan Empire or the Federation. And the Atrexians knew it. They covered up evidence of an ancient Idril culture. Yes, a culture that decimated itself with reckless bioengineering. That monstrous creature destroyed all the Idril colony worlds. In their short-sighted quest for power, they unleashed a bioengineered monster they could not control. Other star-faring races ultimately destroyed the creature. But not all the facilities. Correct. How is it any Idril survived? It appears that a few Idril survived on a devastated colony planet. They lost their technology, but held on to legends of their ancient glory. They're lucky not to be extinct. Our people might have met the same fate if the Empty Crown had succeeded. Fortunately, you chose loyalty to the Romulan people over loyalty to the Romulan war machine. Yes, you are a man of honor, Captain Picard. And now we must both exit the neutral zone. Set a course for the nearest starbase. Course laid in, sir. Ready to return to Federation space. Make it so. Lieutenant Monroe, your performance was exemplary. The Exomorphs posed a grave threat to the Federation. The Romulan government is also grateful that you stopped the Empty Crown from taking over and dragging them down in a pointless war. Your actions have not only saved lives, they have given the Federation a new opportunity to pursue peaceful relations with the Romulans. The Hazard Team's performance has surpassed my expectations. You have established yourself as a leader, Lieutenant. You have every reason to be proud. Indeed. I will recommend that Starfleet establish hazard teams throughout the Federation. We could use them on our exploratory vessels. Excellent work, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. It's an honor to serve on board the Enterprise. You are a valuable addition to the crew. Enjoy your shore leave. You and your team have more than earned it. Dismissed. Hi, Clea. I'm so happy to see you. We have a lot to celebrate. The Atrexians admitted they suppressed your research. The truth came at a heavy price. Was it worth it? I think so. The reconciliation process has begun. Both races can start anew, free from the lies of the past. So some good has come from the truth. That's not the only good. No? You've exposed me to a whole new world. It was my pleasure. What can I do to show my appreciation? Let me expose you to another new world. Please. Come to Earth with me. I would love to. How soon can we begin our cultural exchange? Oh, Alex. Space.
And that is the end of Star Trek Elite Force 2. To be honest, it has not aged quite as well as I remember. Uh, don't like the enemies. I hate the weapons. The story is pretty lame, <laughs> to say. God, like, why... <sighs> there was like, oh, the hazard team should be... There was no hazard team. It was, it was hazard me. Like, there was more hazard team in the first game. The first game was obviously better in every, in every way. This one, I, as I said, it wasn't as good as the, uh, the first one. Especially near the end, it just got really, really bad, because everything was one-hitting me. The difficulty scaling is just really, really bad. And this music is terrible. I, I don't think there's good music in this game at all. Like, like in the other game, you had, like, the arc welder. Uh, the torpedo launcher didn't suck balls. Uh, the grenade launcher didn't suck balls. Uh, you had, or, and then you had a bunch of, like, really fun weapons. And this one you don't really... Like, they're just, they're not fun weapons, you know? And that was one of the things, like, that a lot of those weapons were based upon Quake, and these ones are kind of like, I don't even know what the hell they are. But they're just, I don't know, it's kind of bad. Uh, but, you know, I played, I, I finished it, I played through it, so it's all good. Uh, I'm glad I'm done, but it's just, as I said, I, I, I haven't played it in years, and then I kind of had higher expectations out of it, and then I actually kind of got out of it here. I always knew the first one was better, that, that was my opinion when I when I played it way back when. Uh, but yeah. Oh well. It did have Jean-Luc Picard, but as I said, it's not, It's the game isn't a travesty. Like, you know, you, it's the multiplayer can still be kind of fun, and there's like some other things with it as well. Uh, the Golden Starship thing can kind of be a bit bullshit, I'm not gonna lie about that. Uh, it's it was fun for me to look through, but I was as I said, I, I I'm not gonna lie to you. I was looking through a walkthrough. I said that earlier, um, and that's how I was basically finding them because some of them were just like kind of in ridiculous places. You you, you basically have to have like the tricorder out with uh, structural integrity mode at all times, almost just so you don't miss any structural weaknesses. Which is kind of annoying to have to switch between your uh, tricorder and your whatever your main weapon is. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so as with all old Activision games, the, this is not for sale anywhere. Uh, so you either have to buy a used copy or torrents. That's it. So I, I bought a copy way back when, so I, you know, I have it. I, I don't know where to get it at this point. Uh, all I know is it just, you know, it's just something I have. If you're interested, I, I doubt very much anybody plays the multiplayer for this game. So you're, you'd be buying it for just a single player. And I don't think there's really any mods for it. There was a couple. There's even a co-op mod, but uh, I don't think I'm. I'm not touching upon that, obviously. I mean, I didn't as it is. So, installer. Look at this. The three people made the installer for this game. <laughs> three brilliant, talented people. There was like not as much QA people as there were the people who programmed that installer. That, 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 that installer, man. It solved world hunger. I don't know, there's so many people involved with this. So, it, it's clearly, I don't think it's the same people who made the first Elite Force. They kind of just said, you know, we're, we're going to sell the game based upon the name of the last one. Because the last one was really, really popular. Uh, well, it wasn't really, really popular, but it was known as a really, really good game. And then this one just kind of, uh... Well, it's kind of poo, you know? It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It's not the worst thing I've ever played, by the way. It's just kind of there. Oh, well. Oh, and Viacom was involved in this. Well, of course, they own Star Trek, naturally. Luckily, I won't get any copyright strikes because they didn't actually use any of the actual uh, Star Trek music at all. It's a mixed blessing, I guess. What can I say? Because Viacom is very uh, copyright happy. So, are we done? No, we're not. We got 80 starships. There was actually 81. I think I missed one. But who gives a fuck? Because that's enough to get all of them. I don't know where I missed it. I don't care. So let's do the 10 starship one first. Explore the swamp shack. Eliminate all the enemies. So it's literally just levels. That's all it says. I might as well just use the shotgun. So I can be a hick. Oh, let's go into the shack. 
Uh, also, there's no difficulty setting on this, so I'm just assuming... This certainly doesn't feel like hard, because they're actually dying in one hit to this thing. This is probably on, like, normal. I had no option for that, but this is how this is how the game is normally like, actually. Is there any golden starships here? No. Oh wow, that's it? Okay, well that was a 10 starship one. I hope that was really worth it for you guys. I had as much fun as it looked. <laughs> Alright, let's do a 20 starship one. All that time spent. Alright. So this one we have to destroy the alien patrol ships, and we literally just get the quantum burst rifle. Wow, I missed that guy pretty bad. Oh, I got unlimited ammo for this. What the flying fuck? So I'm literally just on this thing. Okay, I'm I'm not fucked yet. I really should be though. Fuck this. Okay, let me retry this. All right, got that. Got the second one like right way, right away, immediately. There's a third one. I don't know how many I'm actually supposed to get. It seems that there's map boundaries. It's not very well designed. This is probably supposed to be something that you were supposed to do in the game that they, they didn't make it in or something. Oh, there you go. I won. Yeah, that was um, that was kind of crap. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's do secret map number three. A lot of these are kind of garbage. I'm not gonna lie. Just... Alright, look at this one. This is great. Da 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 da. Yeah. So, I gotta like aim at them. This is gonna be really weird. Explore the ruins and stay alive. Alright. So it's like a, it's like Resident Evil. Look at this. I mean, this is pretty creative though. Like now we're getting into kind of like the more fun stuff, arcadey stuff. Get back here, motherfucker! Ah, everything dies in one hit. I mean, this is this is kind of cool. This, I, I like the the other two are just fucking garbage, but this is actually kind of neat. This this is this is totally worth it to get the secrets, just so I can fight exomorphs like this. Oh wait, I got I got a weapon here. I, I mean, left that off to use that that thing anymore. Probably a bit of auto-aim going on. You can see my little dot cross there and that's how you're supposed to aim for everything. Oh great, you just spawned right next to me. I'm so dead. Oh wow, am I not dead? Nah, I'm dead. These things don't have a lot of HP. So I really don't have much of an excuse to die. Pretty much just die in one hit. Oh my god, there's like fucking ton of them. For the love of God, stop leaving them in, like, right on top of me. That was a grenade launcher there. Oh 
Although this is kind of, this is really cool though. I mean, I got it's like an arena thing. It's kind of neat. But I thought they were going for like a Resident Evil thing here, but apparently not. The angle is like that. Corbin jumps really high though. No, don't kill me. That's uh. Uh, actually, let's go back to the grenade launcher. No, that's not the grenade launcher. Armor. So glad I don't take a lot of self damage. Oh, here, Tetrion. Why do they do that? I don't even know. Alright, uh, this is fun. Look at that. It's got mobile down. Let's, let's save it because if I die, it's, I'm gonna go back like fucking 10 minutes. See, all the weapons work pretty much like the same thing. You know, they should have made they should made Star Trek Elite Force this, okay? Oh, it's a box crate thing. The fuck? Is that the box crate monster? I think it's glitched. I think he's supposed to be, uh... I think he's supposed to be... I, I think he's too high up or something. Because we see his shadow. But this still apparently counts as hitting him. Stop going next to me. Or maybe he's just invisible. I don't fucking know. It would be what the, the first of uh, the glitches that this game has. I think he's dead. The shadow is dead. And that was pretty much that. That was not even uh it didn't go very they didn't go very far with that. It's just kinda like, oh that's kinda cool. Alright, 45. And this is um this is just literally a concept art gallery, so I'll show you all these. Uh, that's an exomorph. That's uh your mother. Uh that would be some sort of, oh that's the eye mod. Uh another exomorph. The Atruxians. Well, at least they had some talent to put into this game. That would be the Arc Wielder. Uh, some place. Oh wait. Concept art. The Truxian colony had a well to find the look of it from the onset of the game. Our level design has painstakingly recreated these uh, environments. Yeah, so here we go. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's the Atruxian weapon. I don't know, you can just pause it if you want to read these. I although you gotta like watch in like 1080p. Uh, Truxian males take up more dangerous jobs in or Truxian society. Okay. What could this be? I'm not telling. Oh, why? Thank you. I mod was designed by Seven of Nine. Uh, original con we took the original concept and added quite a bit of visual flair. Okay. Actually, more of equivalent to a tank. Quadruple the uh, the quadruped thick amount of armor helps protect its vulnerable underside. Okay, yeah, that's what I was supposed to be doing. When I was fighting them, but I didn't really care. Commander was designed to, uh, designed to kill massive amounts of ground troops. That was a uh, one of the little boss things I saw earlier. Trusting artwork for your viewing pleasure. Uh, to concept, our concept artist did a very good job of uh, conveying the the visual style of each race. Except that their fucking space station was made full of plywood and rocks. The stalker is an extra extra cool looking character, featuring face shift. It's a very dangerous adversary. Okay. The fuck's this? Attracting arc artwork. Okay. It's once again, apparently they're just stroking the the art concept art d designers. Some early con uh, concepts of Federation weapons. Come a long way since the pre-production disc. So they're showing, I guess, each iteration of it. Doesn't really look that fucking different, to be honest. Uh, whatever this is. Trexian race was a very industrialized society. Alright. Now what's this one? 
Uh, hierarchy, social hierarchy of uh, attraction, council-driven government with female members overseeing most of the trade and commercial relations. Okay. Atrexian females have always been for forbidden to participate in the Atrexian army. And second, Idril Ruins. Alright. Uh, I guess that's it. I mean, I saw everything else here, so... That's, uh, that's all it does. Just it likes it right away. Alright, see so you 60. Starship 1. Okay, this looks a little bit more my style. We got... It's just mostly the minigun. So... Oh, it's like, it's like a... a Exomorph lab. Oh. No, no, no tricorder for me. This is what the game is like on normal. It's very easy. Very, very easy. I don't have much of a choice in this. Hey. No, he hit me. I, I guess I just gotta quit the game now. It's over. I, I don't really know why they made these things, but whatever. They do that a lot. They just start yelling at me. And they keep jumping out of the cages. I don't really have any weapons left. Oh, well. It doesn't appear to really matter. Another successful mission. And with that, there's the last one. And this one is literally... Literally character models. Alex Monroe, Hazard Team Commander. Telsey Monroe, Sniper and Scout. Not a very good sniper, I'll tell you that much. Chell, Technician. Okay, I'm not looking through all these fuckers. Literally, the top tier prize is getting to scan the fuck out of everyone. Human female life form. Okay. And Excelsior Expert. That, that was his job. Why does your team leader go off on scouting missions? Isn't he too valuable to risk? Okay, that's pretty funny. Why does your team leader go off on I'll scouting see up missions? There, Monroe. They can't Isn't keep a guy like you dirt side. To risk? I'll see up there, Monroe. They can't keep a guy like you dirt side. I'm Katarina Scott, the chief engineer of the Dallas. First it was Franklin, now Gonzalez. I didn't have enough time to really get to know either of them. You know, I didn't really talk to you at all in the game. You have come a long way since your days on Voyager, Lieutenant. That's why I'm the captain. <laughs> That's why I'm the captain. That's why I'm the captain. I like this. That's why I'm the captain. Ensign Gonzalez, USS Dallas. A mighty failure. I sense your humiliation. Don't mess with a bullion! Don't mess with a bullion! He never says that, by the way. I shouldn't have turned my back on you. Yeah, <laughs> she's still pissed that I, I didn't romance her. Phaser's set to kill. Phaser's set to kill. That sounds like Monroe. This will be a glorious battle. Precisely. Federation space is so completely different from the lawless Delta Quadrant. My research clearly shows that Starfleet captains do not need hazard teams. So, Simmons. And... Function, assist in the evaluation, whatever. We created our exomorphs to be builders, not killers. Look how quickly they restored the facility from ruins. Do not allow her to stay, Picard. What can I do to show my appreciation? Federation vessel, you have violated the treaty by entering the neutral zone. 
The Romulan Star Empire reigns supreme. Your pain brings me great pleasure. You know the rules of acquisition well for a human. And that's literally all this place is. 10 out of 10 design. How the fuck do I get out? Facer set to kill. There, there's literally, I can't, I can't leave. Oh, there we go. Okay. And with that, uh, we're not quite done. I'm going to show you one uh, map, so I don't know. Let's choose a character. Oh, we could play as Barkley. Or we could play as Picard. Yeah, so there's no, there's no Beesman, so I don't know why you'd ever play multiplayer. And so, uh, let's uh, go to start a solo match. I'll show you my favorite map in this entire game. Uh, and it's the only, only reason why this game was any good. And it's called Quarter Deck. So, I don't know, I'll play for like, uh, let's go to 20 points on Commander. Five, four, three, two, one, match started. So this is the multiplayer of the game, and uh, it wasn't as good as the first game, but I also showed you it anyways. This one, this one is cool because it's like a miniature sized deck. Like it's pretty awesome, and you can you can jump on tricorders. You are now in first place. You are now tied for the lead. So I could just kind of go, you can jump on tricorders and try and make amazing shots. And it's kind of getting a little weird, the fucking text. Oh god. I could, I could also taunt people. Your skills would even impress Your skills would even impress Lieutenant Commander Wolf. Fun, fun, fun kind of stuff, though. I, I just like the, f the fact you're jumping around with a tricorder. That was an impressive shot. That's why I'm the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Your skills would even impress Lieutenant Commander War. I, I like his, I like his death sound. Did they actually get Picard to voice that? I wonder, or whatever. I, I don't care about his name. All right, and we can go in here, and we can go grab. This is a, a, a quantum weapon enhancer, so it's like I guess it's like times four. There's like power ups. There's also CTF game type, and then this is the gotta go fast. But yeah, the, the multiplayer in the other game is much more fun. At least there's rail guns. No, I picked up fucking weapon in midair. Because I'm really good. I mean, how else were you expecting me to play this, by the way? No, fuck. I think I ran out. I think I ran out of ammunition. God damn it. There we go. Aw, oh, took care of him. I really need more ammunition for that railgun. Oh, I have tons of ammunition for it. Except I'm sucking. Sucking again. You can also get a torpedo launcher on the captain's chair there. So. You can, you, you can normally one-hit people. If, if they just spawn, though. Otherwise, you're just taking out like their armor. I'm sorry I'm so bad at multiplayer. I mean these are just bots and they're really retarded. I don't think anybody plays this game online anymore. Alright, time to get a good more ammo. Yeah. This is why I'm camping this room by the way. Oh yeah you can you can uh, you can totally cling on battleth things down or however you set that thing. This person got in my way. Match over. You are the winner. Oh, there you go. And it doesn't give you accommodations anymore, really. It's just kind of beside your name. But anyways, that's the end. There's nothing else. I mean... I, c I could play as Barclay. And, uh... I don't know. 
Like, the rest of these maps are kind of poo. There you go. See, I, I, I aced that one. Can I go down? Yeah, these, these, these maps are kind of like... I don't even know. What kind of... Well, let's see, what kind of things can you make? You make a local server, or dedicated. Hollow match, team hollow match. Captured flag or bomb diffusion. I don't know if any of that tickles your fancy. But... It's just kind of like... I just want to see Barkley's taunts. It's the only thing that interests me. Five, four, three, two, one. Match started. I'm king of the holiday. Ah, where's Dr. Crusher when I need her? Ah, where's Dr. Crusher when I need her? Oh! Oh, Chell killed me. Oh, that's what we're going to leave this last play off on. So, see you later, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And that's the end. You have lost the lead. That's why I'm the lieutenant.